Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a skip stage button in Roblox Studio. So pay players can pay Robux to skip the stage they're on, which will earn you Robux and it will make your game more monetized. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a screen GUI and start a GUI. So if you click the plus and then click screen GUI, and then we can call this skip stage. And then we can turn on, ignore GUI inset, so it uses the entire screen. And in skip stage, this screen GUI, click the plus again, and search for a text button. And then there we go, we've got a text button. So if we just make it 0.2.0, 0.2.0, uh, it's now scaled, so it will appear in the same scale on all screens. And I'm just going to resize it a bit, and then I'm going to decorate it. So I'm going to turn off auto button color, I'm going to give it a UI corner, I'm going to give it UI stroke, and I'm going to give it UI gradient. So then I'm just going to change the UI gradient, make it purple to blue, and then turn the UI stroke from contextual to border, and then make it three thickness, and then I'm going to change the text to skip stage, and then I'm going to make it text scaled, and I'm going to put it in the top of the screen. So now in this text button, we're going to insert, click the plus, and insert a local script. And then in this local script, we can call it skip script. And now we need a developer product, which is um, a product that a player can purchase multiple times. And this is going to be for the skip stage. So if you go onto the Roblox homepage, and then you go to the create tab, and then you find your game, so mine is testing place 2. And you click the cog icon and click configure experience. And then go down to developer product and click create new and i'm going to call that skip stage tutorial you can just call it skip stage though and then i'm going to make it 39 robux and you can just click create so here we go here's my new developer product skip stage tutorial so i can highlight this id here and then you want to right click and click copy and now we can go back to roblox studio and the first thing we're going to do at the top of this script is a local skip id equals that number so this, what this is doing, is making a new variable called skip ID and setting it to the developer products ID. So now, what we're going to do next is we need marketplace service to prompt the player with the developer product. So we need to get marketplace service first. So we're going to make a variable, another one. So local MPS equals game called get service marketplace service. And now we've done that. We need an event that fires every time they press the skip stage button. So, what we're going to do is script.parent.mass, but one click, colon connect function, which will fire every time someone cl uh, clicks this button. But now we need to check if the player is already at the max stage. So, the way we can do that is make another variable at the top, so local max stage equals the number of, which is a hashtag, and then game.workspace. Whatever your checkpoints are in, so mine's just a checkpoints folder, so I'm going to say checkpoints, come and get children. So this is the number of checkpoints, basically. So, if game.players.localplayer.leaderstats.stage.value, or whatever the stage value is in your player, so it might be .localplayer.stage.value, but for me it's .leaderstats.stage.value, I'm going to say if, so if game not players or local players, so the current stage, if that is less than max stage, then I'm going to do MPS column prompt products purchase there are pair of brackets and make sure marketplace service is correctly capitalized. So I've got that wrong there. So it's M A R C marketplace all one word and then service. Just make sure it's like that. Then MPS column prompt product purchase. Then we can do player, so the instance of the player, so that's us, so game.players.local player. Local player, and then comma, and then the product ID, which is the skip ID. And there we go, so that should prompt every time someone clicks the button. So if now we load into the game, and we click this skip stage button, you'll see it there, it now prompts us. So if we stop the game again, we can now make a script in serve script service, a uh, script, and we can call that server skip script. So now, again, we're going to define the skip ID, so local skip ID, and then paste that number in again. And then we're going to do marketplace service again. So MPS equals game call and get service, marketplace service. But now this time, we're going to say MPS dot process receipt equals function. 
And the pair of brackets, then we can take the info object. So, what this is saying is whenever there's a process receipt, so whenever someone buys something, run this function and give us the info. So what we're going to say now, we're going to make two variables. So the player ID of the player that bought it. So local player ID equals info.player ID. And then product ID, get that equal to info.product ID. And now we're going to make another variable called player. We're going to set that to game.players. So we'll get player by user ID. And then player ID. Uh, now we can do if info dot oh sorry if product ID is equal to so two equal signs skip ID then player dot leader stats dot stage dot value plus equals one and then we can do at the end here return enum dot product purchase decision dot purchase granted this just makes sure it doesn't run multiple times now if we play the game again. You see that when I click skip stage and I click this 39 here, you'll see I get my stage number goes up because I've just bought it. So there we go, the stage goes up, and then if I click it again, and then there we go, my stage has gone up to three. So that was how you make a skip stage in Roblox Studio. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.